Right, what are you again with the gorgeous Charlotte? So these are the Ashes nails. This is a little bit rounded off because um, she does a lot of typing, don't you, Duck? So I've already removed this one because let me show you. Where's the little? I'm going to go through what I do to get it off because we've got the ashes right in the end there. Got a little frame so we can put a picture of Mickey, in, can't we? Put a picture yeah. of your dad in. And then have the nails somewhere. We could even, like, I don't know, put them on the bow with a big gem there or something. I don't know. Do some it. Comment below. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to show you how I take this off. Ignore the kettle boiling in the background and any children that you may hear. On my last video, we had um, Alicia screaming. Mum! <laughs> Did you? I've got soap in my eyes! <laughs> On Instagram, I was like, I've seen a voiceover and I was like, oh my God. Right, so first of all, we're obviously oblivious to it, never heard it. <laughs> no, it was on not this, the, not the Ashes video um, where I did phase in um. film. I was just upstairs on my phone doing a voiceover, and I was like, if you can hear the shower, that's my daughter in the shower. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you hear her go, Mom, I got so baby eyes. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna use the secret weapon bit, which comes in. Your complete pro collection. You've got all the bits in there. This is ideal for going underneath. Now the reason I'm going to go underneath is just going to make the removal a little bit easier. And you'll, if you refer back to the previous video that I did on Charlotte, which is where we encapsulated the ashes. Now that one noticed you know you needed to notice how far down i was doing the ashes because i knew i was going to remove them and we wanted to keep this bulk end here of the ashes it's you know, obviously it was going to be really difficult to keep the globe however i have managed to get the globe and keep it there so we can do some of that with that as well because that's got ashes in so we're going to thin that out underneath it's also going to remove, just zoom in for you, it's going to remove Charlotte's nail that's grown up. If you have those clients that don't like their natural nails showing underneath, you can always clean that up with your secret weapon tool. So I'm just going to do that first, it'll just make it a lot easier to remove. Then we are going to take off the globe. I'm going to come right underneath and start cracking these stones off. Stay on well, them stones are, aren't they? Yeah. Look at all your big ones. I know, they stay on so well. So, Charlotte, how's it feel to be married? Oh, still give him shit. Still tell him what to do. <laughs> what just changed apart from my last name? <laughs> Yeah, you told him what to do anyway, didn't you? Yeah. You just have more right now. Yeah. You have more right to exactly. tell him what to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, so let's start snipping away around the outside. I just want to get rid of the gel from the outside. And then, hopefully, we should be able to give it a snip. And catch on to it properly, careful. There we are. So we've got the globe off. So what I've done with the other one is I have tidied up the edges just by getting rid of that acrylic and gel. And then what I'll probably do with that later is just give that a bit of a file and we'll re-top coat it as well so you can see the ashes inside. Now, to get the rest of this off, I am going to just thin out this section here, just so it fractures really easily when I cut it. And we're going to cut it here. So notice how the ashes go to about here. I'm going to cut it across where the natural nail finishes. I'm just going to thin out that back section first.
change bits. Want something slightly coarser now, so I don't use the shape bit. It has a Swarovski crystal in the end. I don't need to use the debulker because I think it'll eat into it a little bit too much. And I can always top coat this nail as well, make it shiny. We will give them a bit of TLC before we put them in the frame. So I'm thinning out the sides. And I'm just thinning across where we're going to cut, just so it cuts a little bit easier. I don't want it to fracture into Charlotte's natural nail. So you can see the thinner I go, the more of Charlotte's natural nail we can see. That also allows us to be able to see where we're going to cut it. So you can see a natural nail there, hold the nail, and that just will fracture across really easily. We want to take these off so we can keep them, but we are going to put a new nail on. We don't want to leave you like that, do we, Duck? No, please don't. That's brilliant, Alicia. Alicia's just come in and showed me her artwork, Jack. Mommy. What's she saying? <laughs> so I'm just giving that a smooth there. And like I say, we'll just give that a bit of a file and shape and then we'll top coat that later. So we'll save them, I'll make them look all pretty. So now we have the nails off, I'm going to show you what I'm actually going to do with the nails. So as you can see in my hands I have one of the globes. So inside the globe is the ashes. Now I want to top coat it, so what I've done is, because it would be very difficult to top coat it, so what I've done is put a little bit of blob of... Um, gel so a little blob of gel on the end of the pammy picker upper and touched the globe and cured it so it's on the end so now it's a lot easier to top coat it because can you imagine trying to hold that and trying to top coat it mm, that would be a little bit difficult so i'm just making sure it's cured so i can actually then put the top coat on and you could use sort of any builder gel to do this you may notice i'm now doing a voiceover whereas before i was talking while i was filming and i'll tell you for why because charlotte's not here now so i filmed this bit when charlotte had gone we finished the nails don't worry we didn't like you know send her away with missing nails but that'll be in another video which i'll upload in a couple of days so i've top coated that need to make sure that the top coat falls nice and round and then cured it and then simply pull it off the pammy picker upper put my gel away you can see it has like a little bit of a point but you can see those ashes inside. So where that little point is, is where it was actually attached to the Pammy Picker Upper. So we're just going to flatten that off to make it easier to attach onto the frame. Giving it a bit of a clean. I don't want it dusty. You can still see all the ashes inside, which... I just love, I just love that you can still see him and it looks really good. So this is the frame, so I've got all my bits and bobs. I've kept the big stones because they still look really good. 
And then I'm just using a bit of glue to put the tip that we removed to put that onto a little stand so I can top coat it for us. Like I said before, give them a bit of TLC, filed them a little bit and buffed them and then now top coating them. And it's amazing how they still look so clear. You can see all the ashes inside which I'm overjoyed about because I, I just, I was obviously, I've never done this before. I've never done the Ashes nails before, so I, I didn't know how they were going to last. But yeah, they, were, they lasted brilliantly. So I've got a picture of my Uncle Mick. This is actually from his um, funeral card, you know, when you have your little card at the funeral. This is the picture that was used and it actually fitted perfectly in the frame. Like the whole size of it. I just let it simply cut it out. Um and and it just fit. It's just perfect. I did look at lots of other pictures. Um I showed Charlotte the picture. She was like, Yep, yeah, love it. Let's do it. So I went ahead and cut it out and popped it in the frame. Did all that obviously while the top coat was curing. I just simply snapped them off. And I, I just love them. I still love them. And obviously, yes, it, it's a shame that you can't remove the entire thing. And the only other thing that maybe we could have done was use like a nail guard and then eventually sort of pull it off the nail because the nail guards would protect the natural nail however I knew that you know Charlotte was going on a honeymoon and she would want to keep the nails on and I wanted them to really stay on so we discussed where to put the stones and I'm just checking that everything would look right so Charlotte wanted the, the nails in a certain position and then I'm going to put the stones around that as well, just to really complement it. And I wanted to use the same stones as what she had on her nails. So I've kept the two big ones because they look really nice. And then I am going to use exactly the same selection of stones that I used on Charlotte's nails for the wedding. So I'm picking up a bead of clear acrylic. And this is basically going to be our glue. It's going to adhere the nail tip to the glass on the frame. I did think about, you know, would would Charlotte want a picture of, her, you know, the wedding, here at the wedding? But I, because of the reason that we did the Ashes Nails... It was far more fitting to put a picture of her dad in the frame. I don't know if you know, but we do have... I've developed a brush that's called the Mighty Mick. Obviously named after my Uncle Mick because he was so strong through his battle, you know, with cancer. And I really wanted to do something for him and I thought it was... It was ideal to name a brush after him because obviously I've got brushes that, that are named after people like I've got the Alicia brush and the Cassidy brush which is named after my children and I've got a Pammy Picker Upper which is named after my mum I've got a Brendeck brush which is named after my nan and granddad which is Brenda and Derek so it's called Brendeck um, you know so there's always like a bit of a story behind my brushes I have a Miko brush, and the Miko brush is named after my sister, so my middle sister. So I'm going through the family, naming everything after them. But so I just, it was perfect. And before my Uncle Mick passed away, I did tell him that I'd developed this brush in his memory. And, you know, he was he was really chuffed with that. So anyway, back back to the little memorial frame. I have put... Um, the clear acrylic on both the nails and now we're going to get a bead of clear acrylic and when I'm picking this up I make sure 
that it's really dry so I bleed the back of the brush out if it's not really dry it's going to leak and go everywhere it's going to move too much and we don't want it to move too much we want it to stay perfectly where I put it and I'm going to do the same with this one as well and I think it kind of hides that bit of the nail that's not it's not there anymore and it just it makes everything fit a little bit better and obviously who doesn't want a little bit of bling again I'm trying to talk through most of this video because everybody seemed to like it um, and I'm just getting used to editing a little bit I'm, I'm not an expert not like Adam the cameraman so I've put a little bit of builder gel on so I've sort of gone around that big stone on one side and I'm using the Pammy picker upper to pick up my crystals and place them I'm doing them section by section so I'm not going to put gel around the entire stone and that's one of the ashes there so it's one of the globes I pick that up and just place it into the gel so we've got the globe we've got some stones and I'll do a section at a time the reason that I don't put the entire sorry the reason that I don't put gel around the entire sort of stone is because there's a possibility that they will move so it's much easier to do it section by section and you'll see that that's what I do so again I'm just using the pointed end of the pabby picker up here to pick up the gel and any builder gel will do for this and I can just pop in those stones some of the stones are pointy back so they kind of fit around the stone really nice I didn't want it to be like a um, symmetrical design or anything like that I just wanted to add that little bit of bling and use the same stones that I used on Charlotte's nails If some of you are wondering where I had the frame from, well, I've actually had the frame for a while, um, but I did get them from the range. I love the range. I love picking up little bits and bobs. and they, I just, I shouldn't go in really because I just end up spending an absolute fortune. So again, you can see that I'm adding some gel in here now notice how I knocked that one I was like oh I'm trying to put that back yeah so it is better to sort of do it in sections cure you could even flash cure as well and then do a full cure after just to finish off Please don't judge my nails, I do have a chipped thumb and I do have missing stones but don't worry about that, let's concentrate on creating this little memorial frame. Can I just say as well, the comments on the Cremation Ashes video oh my god was so nice I, I i was reading him and i was just like oh my god I'm, i can't believe the support that everybody's giving me and how you know people have taken a lot from it you know people are going to do this with their nails and you know and some people wish that they'd had the opportunity to do it so i just think it if it helps somebody to bring you know their loved one that's passed away closer to them on their special day you know it was worth doing the video 
just to, to share it, you know, to share it. I want to share it and that's that's why I did it because it was such a fabulous thing. I wanted to share this with everybody. So I'm kind of just finishing this off now. Making sure I've got enough stones. And what that'll do as well is it'll kind of protect that nail. So the nail that's there with the ashes, it's going to protect it as well. So I've done pretty much exactly the same with the one at the top. So we have two beautiful nails with mixed ashes in. And what a lovely picture it is of him. He's actually working on his camper van there. If you know me well, you know that all our family have got camper vans. Even me. So there you are guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, please comment because I try to read all of them. And I'll see you in the next video. Love you, bye!